Okay, guys, so I showed you, we're still at the Chateau Bedford, and I showed you a um, Chateau Bedford, and I showed you the accessible room. Now I'm going to show you just a standard two queen bedroom that they have here, okay? So the door is still the same. It's pretty light to open. And first you have your bathroom right here to your left, which isn't very big at all. I can get my wheelchair in through the door, but that's it. If I were to, uh, I don't know if you can see here, there's not much room. I, I couldn't transfer onto the toilet and shut the door with my wheelchair. There you can see now. So him here, door. I couldn't transfer onto the toilet and uh, keep my wheelchair and shut the door with my wheelchair. I had to scoop my wheelchair out and also to get into the tub. And I've done this before lots of times throughout my travels is if there is no wheelchair washrooms available I'd get a regular room but I would make make do I would to get in this tub here I would transfer over onto the toilet my butt here so I'll try to get to the best angle because it's really tight in here I'd transfer onto here and then I'd have a towel across here and actually I would wet the towel a little bit so it wouldn't be slippery and then uh, I'd transfer from the toilet over to the edge of the tub put my feet in and then lower myself down into the tub and then back up and I'm finished same thing I just have like a damp towel here so the towel wouldn't be slippery and I'm going to make sure it was dry elsewhere I'd dry off the edges where I needed to grab to push out of the tub and uh, lift myself up here and then transfer back over into the toilet uh, dry off as much as I can on the, on the, on the, on the bath and the water's not running, and then uh, finish drying off over here on the toilet, and then stretch way out to get my chair in the doorway. Because usually my chair is um, outside the door. So right out here, I'm right outside the door. So if you sit in the toilet, and I'm able to, it's so close, such a tight area, I'm able to stretch and reach and grab the, uh, the front part of my chair and bring it back in. So it's doable for someone in my position. Um, that has a incomplete spinal cord um, I, I can manage uh, another thing too is they have the doors on their closets here I didn't mention that on the accessible room that the closet was an open closet in the accessible room so this one has doors so the accessible room was open just provide more room for storage and less uh, obstructions opening and closing that might uh, come in contact with your wheelchair and, and and take up space. Uh, now you get your regular two queen beds, a little messy there. Got the same layout with the tables, your office, your desk, TV, nightstand, bed, your microwave, fridge, safe. Same, same, same. Now the only big difference is obviously is just the washroom. And the accessible washroom, um, like I showed you that room, there was very little to no space from the, the, the bed closest to the window, there's very little space in the accessible washroom because the heater in the accessible washroom was down on that end. So this room is actually, the regular standard room is actually bigger than the accessible wheelchair room because the wheelchair room has a bigger washroom. So that washroom takes up so much more feet, which shortens your general live your your general sleeping quarters uh, space right makes sense so they make the bigger so they make the uh, wheelchair accessible bathroom bigger which makes your sleeping area and common area here shorter in the accessible wa in the accessible room so it doesn't quite make sense they, they you know they it's give and take for one another right so in a standard room you got a smaller bathroom in a much larger, comfortable uh, living space, sleeping space, whatever you want to call it, to uh, move around, store stuff, clothing, wheelchair, whatever. Lots of room in, in here, so in the general area. There you go. I just wanted to show you the difference of the rooms here at the Chateau Bedford uh, hotel room, the accessible room versus the non-accessible room. So, like I said, if you, can, if you can't get an accessible room, there's only two here in the Hotel Chateau Bedford, and that's common with, um, and that's common with most hotels. If you can't get one, that's what you're going to be faced with. 
a really small bathroom. So, you know, there's a whole wide range of disabilities. It may work for some people, it may not. It works for me, I make it work. Um, just from, you know, experiences, I know how to get into the tub, how to transfer the toilet, scoop my chair out. I have that balance and strength to reach over and bring it back in when I'm done. So quite independent that way. So if, you know, if I don't get an accessible room, I can still get a regular room and, and get by, no problem. All right, well, it's time to sign off. We got a championship game to play in an hour. So I got to get to the rink, which is luckily only like five minutes away. So, all right, keep rolling. Till next time. Hey, everybody, I'm back again at the Chateau Bedford. There is more wheelchair parking than I thought there was. So is it there? And then I have spot here and then if you go on the other side got lots of room here no one's gonna park close to you i should have backed in but then i couldn't get to the back of my my hatch if i backed in by the highway anyways there's uh wheelchair parking here a couple spots there and then there is actually more spots over here uh nope they're not there should be some right there and then some way down on the other end, same kind of layout on the opposite side of the building, or the hotel. Fair to just point that out because I think earlier on in my video I said that there was only um, two spots for the whole, whole hotel. So it's not, there's more than that. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And there might be some on the other side of the building, side of the hotel, but who knows, I, don't, I, I doubt it. So anyway. There we go. Just to clarify that, over. Yeah, so that's my stay at the Chateau Bedford. I'm about to pull the driveway here and uh, the parking lot. And what I noticed was that there, there are more wheelchair parking spots than what I had said at the beginning of the video. Uh, I think before I said there's only two spots, maybe three. And I had to park way up in the upper parking spot to wheel down. Um, however, there's many more than that there's like well not many more but there's I'm in one right now and behind me there's three of them behind me against the hotel building and then uh, the two or three that I pointed out the first of the video so let's say three four five six parking spots I see a couple of places where they should be uh, wheelchair parking that's really close to the door but they, it's just for general parking it's not drop off or anything it's just general parking uh, this one here that I'm in should actually be down about four or five parking spots to get closer to the door. Anyway, and I'm not sure if there's any more wheelchair spots around the hotel or not. Uh, I'm not going to take a drive around. Uh, I can't see there being, but uh, yeah, let's go take a drive around. Let's go take a drive around. Okay, we're going to drive around. See what we got there for more uh, wheelchair parking. Drive. Tim Hortons is nice and handy. What a lineup, though. Can't wait for that. And we'll see if there's any other accessible entrances. You know, to get in or out, or if it's just the front door. Yeah, it looks like. That would be a good place to have a couple there. You can see. As you can see, have a couple there to get in. It's got a concrete ramp. back up. Okay, let's go back around. There's nothing back here, which I didn't think so, on this side. And again, that's where you go into the pool. So nothing back here. Now we're wrapping around back to the front of the hotel. And uh, nothing up. This is where I had parked first night up here. We're coming right back down to the front of the hotel where there was one, two, three. Nope, just two wheelchair spots. And they're really tight. Really tight, isn't there? So just two wheel spot two wheelchair spots there. Whoa! Going through the going through the drop off zone. I'm gonna get a little car wash here. It's a beautiful day out here in Halifax. So there should be there's two, three, four. 
five. Five. That's it. For this hotel. Should be a few more. Should be. Because when I came in late on Friday night, I couldn't find any parking. Anyways, off to the rink I go. I gotta go get my game routine. Before it's too late. I do have a routine for every game. So, alright. Keep rolling.